Welcome to the weekly briefing for weeks five through to week six. Here's what you need to know. At this point, you should be underway on building towards the second task, the second assessment item. If you are running with the practical assignment, you should be now creating content, managing your accounts, making things happen, and getting into the swing of using the social media platforms. If you're running the theory assignment, the question that has been raised was around the nature of uh, the term conflate. Uh, there was some question as to what was being meant here about uh, conflating e-marketing practice and e-advertising. Basically, what I'm wanting people to do is to talk about the consequence if a marketer was to decide that e-marketing was simply advertising, that all online activity was simply some form of advertising. What would that do? What would be the problems? Then of those problems, how would you solve, redress, or prevent those problems from arising if you apply the rest of the marketing mix and the marketing planning process? So effectively, what you're getting to do is to set the tone of what do you think the problem would be is if the only objective we ever used the internet for was promotion? What would happen? How would you tackle this? What do you think is going to happen? Now, in pursuit of that particular aspect, I'm going to really encourage you to break out Google Scholar and start looking for perhaps criticisms of marketing, uh, criticisms of advertising, particularly the notion of uh, marketing is just communications. There's a lot of critique around that. The practice team, uh, one of the things that I'd like you to be really thinking about as you're going through is keep your notes together. You're going to need to be doing a bit of a reflective piece telling me about what's happened, what theories are used. So if you read an article uh, that's linked out of the course site or you access some content, and you come across something and go, that's useful, I'll try that. Keep a note of it. Remember what you did and how you did it so that you can come back and score points for that in your essay. The other thing on the weekly briefing that I want to draw people's attention to is that an offer has been made by two of the two of your colleagues, two of the cohort, around pizza. Specifically, if there is a big enough interest in the people who are attending the weekly lectures to either coordinate a pre-order or coordinate themselves around coming up to the break to order pizza and drinks from the local, uh, from the Domino's, or whatever brand it is down the corner there, and get it, and break up the delivery fee amongst the participants so that a pizza can be delivered to the lecture theatre. Now, this was uh, in week five. It was done by students wandering down, grabbing the pizza and bringing it back. I am A-OK -okay with this. In fact, I like the idea of us ordering stuff and having stuff delivered to the lecture theatre so much. I want to try later in the semester, probably around weeks 9 or 10, seeing if I can get a grocery order delivered to the lecture theatre. So I want to see if the Woolworths Online can uh, do a grocery drop. And I'm willing to shout a few drinks on that order to make it worthwhile. So. If it is of interest, some details will go up uh, in terms of coordinating this, whether it's done by pre-orders, cash, whatever the arrangement is. But it is something a couple of students have raised. I do want to draw your attention to it. I'm in favor of it. If you want to order some pizzas to have them delivered to the lecture theater so that coming to class, you at least get a meal out of it, sounds good to me. And if any of you are sufficiently adept at getting us some sponsorship or some discounts for pizzas to live to the lecture theatre, I will also look at that favourably. So, that's your weekly briefing. You should be underway on your projects. You should be underway on your next round of research. Keep your notes together. Pizza is now going to be a possibility to be delivered to the lecture theatre. Starting and continuing on from week six, 
will be the Tuesday night sessions. I do have the theatre booked out until the building closes. If you want to be working on your projects and you just want to be able to ask me questions, seek advice, it's an open consultation period. Uh, after, from week six onwards, I will be working on my own projects in that period. So I'll have the laptop out, I'll be working on stuff. There'll be a bit of a soundtrack to it. If we bought in some pizza, this could just be a nice, relaxed opportunity for people to work together, collaborate, do some stuff, do the interesting things with our, either our research or our accounts, and just generally a less formal, less uh, stressful, let's get some stuff happening, let's make some stuff with the social media accounts work. Kicking off again from week six. That's the briefing for this week. The other piece of Intel update is the pre-recorded videos will be back in action. I took a break from content production leading into the semester. Uh, I'm now, as a result of the assignments coming in, know what I need to do with the content for the rest of the season, and that will be being produced and up online ahead of schedule. The Easter weekend's coming up, and that is notoriously one of my best production periods for making videos, so we will be tricked out and ready to go fully online to the end of semester after Easter.